Hi, I'm Matthew Buzzy with PC Mag, and this is the HP Victus 15. Uh, the Victus line is HP's more budget-friendly gaming option, as opposed to the Omen line, which is sort of the premium and pure power uh, play. Um, so the Victus, we've seen a couple systems uh, across a couple product categories for Victus, um, and this is the 15-inch budget gaming laptop. Now the white color, obviously, you know, not that common, not, not entirely unique here, but um, something we saw sometimes see on gaming systems, and uh, I, I think it stands out. It depends a little on the design, but I think they've done, done well here with the logo and the all-white finish. Um, Full-size number pad also, not something you always get, not something you always need, but some people like that, gamers or, or people who do work on this laptop as well. Um, if you're buying a budget system, maybe this is going to be your only laptop, so being able to do kind of everything on it, well, it is a plus. Now, as far as using this laptop for everything and doing a bit of gaming, uh, Core i7 12th gen options on this system, even though it's a budget system, H-series processors, which as we've seen in other systems, always leads to good performance. Um, Intel's had a pretty good baseline and the 12th gen processors, generally speaking, do impress us, so we don't expect this to be much different. It does depend, you know, a little bit on the wattage and exactly how it's configured, but generally speaking, a 12th gen Core i7 H series processor will give you pretty good performance. On the graphics side, it goes up to NVIDIA RTX uh, 3050 Ti, which is a budget and sort of entry level GPU to be sure. Um, you can't really expect that much more than that for under $1,000, but uh, we can also have to get a little credit. Um, the 3060 is, is quite a good card and the 3050 Ti, a bit less than that, but if you're aiming to do full HD, sort of 60 frames per second gaming, some titles will be able to hit that. Um, the most demanding, maybe not, but generally speaking, this will give you uh, uh, solid performance. So um, stay tuned uh, for a full review and benchmarks on this system. It looks promising. Obviously, there's a lot of people out there who can't buy the super high-end and super expensive laptops that we see. Only a few, only a few people have the budget for that. Um, but this should be sort of a more mass market and more mass appeal uh, option for the gamers in your life. So stay tuned for a full review and check back for our benchmarks.